Hey guys, uh, Happy New Year. Uh, welcome to Podiatry Practice Mastery. Um, starting a new year, 2024. Um, I, uh, my goal here is to help you build a million dollar practice. So that's a practice where you're producing over a million dollars. I'm going to help you to do that. I have the Practice Mastery Academy. If you haven't checked it out, go to podiatrypracticemastery.com. That's where I put kind of all my secrets. And uh, today I'm going to talk about a couple of um, MVP patients here. So maybe give you some inspiration uh, for your largest check patient. So first patient I saw today, a 64-year-old male. He was here for shockwave number two. So for him, he had three shockwaves scheduled. Uh, he was here for a second opinion. He had pain um, to the um, second metatarsal head and base of the proximal phalanx on the second digit. Uh, on ultrasound, he had a a tear of the plantar plate. He was here because he saw someone else. They couldn't do anything. So we did three EPATs. And we're going to, at the second one, I did a amnio injection. So you, we use right via flow. I put in half cc's of that, half cc's of half percent, or actually 1% lidocaine, and then one cc of normal saline. Uh, so two cc's total with ultrasound guidance. I do that shockwave first, and then that, and I put him in a cam boot for a week. So we're able to do the cam boot, the amnio, and the shockwave uh, for him. So that's kind of one of the MVPs for today. Um, and then kind of an interesting patient, uh, something that we all see was a, a patient. He was a 68-year-old um, man with a plantar hallux uh, ulcer that we've been kind of dealing with it uh, for a while. It had a, um, a fibrotic base. And so what I did for him is I did a prescription for Santal because of the fibrotic base. That bumped it up to a level four because of the prescription for him. He is offloading it with a surgical shoe and a um, peg assist. That's one of those uh, like liners that you take out the dots in it. Uh, I decided the surgical shoe mostly because he has Medicare and Mass Health, which is the kind of the free care, and we don't take the free care, care portion, so he's responsible for twenty percent of everything. And then I did the ulcer debridement, so that was the other one. And then the last one, kind of a unique one. This was a fifty-four-year-old female. She had a week ago had a lapidus, and she was using her crutches, and she whacked her second digit on her left foot. So this is within the um, post-operative period. Um, she came in. Her second digit was like all to the. It was a distant dislocated laterally. I got an x-ray. It was totally dislocated and twisted around. Um, so I numbed up the toe, distracted it, kind of recreated it, put it back in place. And it was a little bit uh, laterally deviated and a little bit shortened, but it's going to be looking, it was looking much better than it was when she came in. So after numbing it up, I, so I was able to do the fracture code, able to do the strapping of the toes with the Coban, and she's going to keep doing Coban. And so this is all within the post-operative period. Uh, but it's uh, different because it's a new condition. So, and I should put her in a surgical shoe because she had a cam boot for the lapidus on the other side. She's been, I think she's eight weeks out. And then um, uh, I did the surgical shoe for the other foot. Anyway, so that was the kind of the most valuable patients of the day. Um, I am going to be um, taking every six weeks a new person that kind of wants help. So if you think you'd be a, a good fit, kind of helping you get to the million dollar practice, let me know. Uh, send me an email, Don at Podiatry Practice Mastery. Uh, kind of tell me your questions. I'll try to answer them. If you have questions, just send them to me and then I'll, I'll do podcast episodes on those. Okay. Hope this was beneficial. Uh, until next time. Okay. Thanks.